<clears throat> Good evening, guys. It's a four twenty four thirty six p.m. Today is Friday, November eleventh. Both one 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 one. You know, two thousand twenty two. And so let me go through the pre market notes. So I'm keeping the story simple today. You know, no shorts today. Only longs allowed. Uh, today's match potential is ES four thousand two. And or 4055 NQ it is 950 862 and then 877 so it is not 877 is actually it's a 77 11 7, 7, 7, okay so it's a typing mistake uh, pull back long location in NQ is yesterday's closing area or 527 pink line area which was our preferred buyers area basically you know 555, 575 to 525. So it is listed in the chart. It's a preferred bias area. And, and I expect bias to hold above as a bare minimum requirement. Right? So minimum requirements is this hold above. Basically, aggressive buyers, prefer buyers, backup buyers. Right? That is the potential long location or long setup to look for. Right? And then these are the super aggressive areas. Okay look for a field breakdown scenario as well right so and then 754 709 are the dream number very powerful numbers right so overall you are looking for longs right preferred buyers area backup aggressive you know and then once the max potential is rich we stop trading pretty much you know either this or this you know either one and then we stop trading for the day that's the goal right we discuss in the discord also so no shorts today right that was the chart notes i usually give in the morning right uh, in discord uh, around six o'clock or 5 30 you know so this was aggressive bias area remember i said aggressive bias area prefer bias area backup bias area long locations right and then we target 4002 which is this or whatever the intraday high is you know so this was a long 56 was the long here, but the problem was 48 you ha your stop has to be at 47 below this level Because price was coming down like this, right? So we discussed this thing if someone wants to go long at 56 first test This would be the stop or wait for a pause Watch NQ if it bounces Right, then you go long in ES. So while ES was right here in this candle, right? NQ was already here Right? So ES was trying to go down, NQ was going up. So that was the sign, you know. So I took the long in NQ, preferred buyers area. See, it touched preferred area, correct? Here, right there. So I took the long at 574 or 572, which we discussed in the Discord that I went long, right? Then 619, and then, you know, 604 or 5, that those were the initial target, right? So I took the profit here. And then, I waited. Let's see if price goes above 619. That is what we discussed in Discord. And ES goes above this, you know. So ES, you can go long here after that point if you want to, you know. Like if you waited. Otherwise, this was a long at the first test, but then your stop has to be there, right? So NQ had a clear trade. ES was a little bit choppy today, you know, because there was not much scope considering entire move. But NQ had a scope, you know, like amount of points. So once it went above this 619, you know, this was the long going with the flow, you know, that we discussed, right? And then you target, you know, all these areas. 672 we discussed, which is this area, right? Uh, and then this area. So profit could be anywhere here, right? Uh, and then you, then CPI news was released. So ES, if you go long, 75 was the area we discussed in the morning. So 75 was the target, right? Or 66 even. That's why the two targets, right? From 56 long here and here. Then CPI news came, right? So we were waiting at least for two minutes after CPI. That is what we discussed. The whole idea was we discussed was during the CPI price balanced between this and this. It was a hundred point move in NQ back and forth, right? And then ES was 75 and this. Right? So at least one thing we discuss is regardless of news, no shorts. Right, but look for lower support if it holds it. Look for a breakout about this. Right, so hold on, guys. So 
so we took we look for a breakout here you know and we were watching this 683 area in NQ and 75 in ES right so the moment it broke out we didn't enter at the first time we were just watching it right that what happens because it could be a trap too you know, who knows so when this thing happened right look at this even two minute candle it didn't even close above it correct but then it came down see now it's very important because now some sell buyers are trapped here that was the whole idea the question is not this question is what price does afterwards so price couldn't even go down right see yes also couldn't go down here no more than this 60 right then again it came back up see that was the sign to go long right so now see this time if you look at here this candle see that it closed above all this so that was the sign you know now buyers are there you go long right here and you target this prefer sellers area or dream number basically right so here you bail out that's it you know dream numbers this prefer sellers area basically right that was the whole target here you know that's a max potential also one of them second one was this right es by the time went to 90 you know so here you have to bail out es also same time with nq right now we discuss why 90 held it here right that was even though there was no level but we know right we discuss in this call there were two reasons with that we discussed in Discord that why 90 held it here, right? So this was a bailout opportunity for this long. And then the Friday is over right here, you know, because price reached maximum potential here. You know? Even the 4002 was the target, but NQ reached ahead of it. You know? So there is no trading after that because now the longs you can't take it because most likely, you know, once the target is rich, max potential, price may balance, you know and then ping pong and then later in the day it may move up or down right so why bother on friday all these things any or regardless of friday any day and you can see it see that whoever try to go long above this area see assuming they don't know about the preferred sellers right look what happened they got trapped right here and then price came down right and then it, it like give you a false sense of hope that hey this 734 held it here right and then it again went higher and then look at this what happened see so that is the story you know so after that there is no more trading and you know that be all for today you know i'm not going to discuss all this thing later on and i'll see you on monday